Those cooler temperatures are invading the country, but it's harnessing the cool temperatures that led our Dave Malkoff to a small Oregon town, now home to one of the world's most recognizable websites, or portions of it, I should say. Let's go to uh, Dave and talk about how they're bringing in the cold and taking out the heat. Yeah, good morning, Stephanie. Alex Witt was just talking about how there's a billion people on Facebook with everybody commenting and posting photos at the same time. It really heats up a giant computer room in Oregon. Take a look. I am literally feeling the heat of people's status updates, you their are. photos, their videos. You are. This is the heat that's generated from that? This is the heat generated from that. Facebook is such a web giant, it runs its own weather system here in Prineville, Oregon, a city of less than 10,000 people. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First, you got to understand what Facebook, what the internet actually is. And it's not what you think. Uh, so a lot of people talk about the cloud, yeah. right? But they really don't have a fundamental understanding of what the cloud means. It's, it's not manna from heaven. Nothing on Facebook's cloud exists up here, but exists down here. Once we got past their security and the keycard locked doors, manager Ken Patchett showed us that Facebook is just a building full of computers and hard drives. They call it the Prineville Data Center. This is where all the magic happens. Everything you've done on Facebook for the past few years has happened in this complex. You know, this building is over 1,300 feet long, longer than an aircraft carrier. So if you forget a part, you don't want to walk for it. You want to ride your scooter for it. It's like a giant locker room where every Facebook user has their own space. Right here. So right on this My server. Facebook page could be right here. It could, it could be right there. The data centers use a tremendous amount of power. The solar panels out back can only run a small office space. Facebook itself runs on the same power the people of this Oregon town use. Yeah, power is much cheaper outside of the state of California. The cheap power isn't the only reason why Facebook and soon Apple are in Prineville. The crisp Oregon air cools down the servers that run hot in a world that's constantly checking Facebook. We've decided to let Mother Nature in. New kinds of computers have allowed them to cool this place with no air conditioners. Just a giant system of fans. Go ahead and do this. You want to feel the pressure. Whoa. That bring the cold weather inside. I'm just simply bringing the air in from the outside and pushing it down here to the data center floor. Every baby photo, every wedding video raises the temperature. It heats up, and then that air moves up. Hold air in. You're at about 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot air out. That is Facebook's weather system. This is pushing it back outside. Yeah, it's pulling it out. It is loud in there, huh? But not as loud as most data centers that use a ton of electricity to run industrial air conditioners all day, all night. This one is different because they use the weather. Coming up on Monday, we'll show you how Facebook is giving away its secrets, hoping to make the entire internet more green. Steph?